Good morning and it's good to have you join us on Nigeria Now. It is the 15th day of September 2021 and this program is where we bring you top stories, you know, front pages of the national dailies for each day. And today we have another interesting episode. Joining me in the studio is Adebayo Fajime. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm very fine. Good, good. Uh, let's go straight to what we have for today. The very gaping headline that cuts across all of the national dailies for this morning uh, is talking about Buhari's plan to borrow money. Well, let's begin from the punch. Uh, the banner headline there says, Experts others carpet National Assembly as Buhari plans $4 billion, 710 million euros borrowed. Uh, we have a couple of writers wondering that one, uh, loans will reduce poverty that's coming from Buhari himself. Public debts rose from 12.12 trillion naira in June 2015 to 33.11 trillion naira in March 2021. And um, perpetual borrowing, lawmakers working against Nigerians' interest will account for their actions, says group. All of that can be found on page 17. Uh, the very the top of the newspaper there talking about e-payment transactions rise by 85.52% in one year. That can be found on page 25. And then looming strike. Hold federal government responsible, as we tell parents that can be found on page two. And just besides that, we see rising unemployment can wipe out Nigeria elite unsafe. That's coming from Chris Ngugi, and we can find out on page seven. And then besides that, we see that battle shift to South Court, Supreme Court rather, as Rivers challenges order. That can be found on page eight. Uh, then we see just uh, underneath that one, the enemy not telling federal government the truth pursuing personal interest that's coming from NARD and we can find that on page 16 and minister advocates capital punishment says goat smugglers using private jet that can be found on page 3 underneath the picture of the day there we see indigenous nationalities protest at UN won against Nigeria's disintegration that story can be found on page 16 and then sit at home hurting southeast Umahi Obi lament violence in Anambra Enugu we can see that on page 3 Caleb University student disappears after court threat, father CP tackles school. And we can find out on page four. And fire shame a joint PDP national championship race. That can be found on page 30. And now to Kogi prison attack, GGC threatens fleeing inmate with prosecution. That can be found on page 16. 60 landlords desert houses as flawed, overwhelms Ogun community. That can be found on pages four and five. And then assembly condemns Ogun Vat, a location bill passes second reading. We can see that on page six. Uh, let's go straight to the banner headline right there. That is expert of this carpet national assembly as Buhari plans $4 billion, 710 million euros borrowings. Um, we've been seeing you, you know, this since the news uh, broke out yesterday. We've been seeing so many reactions from Nigerians. What is your take on this continuous borrowing and the borrowing that we've had before now? Um, my take is very simple. Uh, I don't think uh, borrowing is a bad thing, you know, as long as it's going to, the end result is going to uh, be very uh, positive. Mm. Uh, the results, uh, the reaction we, are, we have been seeing, you know, from all angles from Nigerians is, why are we borrowing again? And it is because, you know, uh, people do not trust uh, their leaders. So we have a faulty and rotten leadership system. We have a leader. We have leadership that tells people here, and at the end of the day, they see B, they see C. Hmm. So uh, if you look at governance and you know development across you know across the world, you hardly see you know a country that at one point or another, apart from developing. Uh, but if you look at most of the developing worlds that we're even talking about, at one point or another. They also, you know, reach out, you know, to seek help and all of that. So borrowing to do business, you know, is not bad hmm. as long as it's going to be profitable. Hmm. But the question that must be asked is, uh, with this yield result, what's going to be the end result of this borrowing? Is it not going to put us in problem again? Because all over and over, we have seen government say they want to borrow, they want to borrow. They borrow this money and at the end of the day, they do nothing with the money, you know, they've borrowed. Mm. So, uh, I think uh, the, the issue here is the uh, trust in the leadership system. So, if that can be eroded or removed and uh, Nigerians are seeing the result of what they said they want to use this money for, I don't think there's going to be a problem about that. 
Okay, um, let's look at the Guardian, the Barrier headline there again, talking about the same story. Buhari overlooks 33 trillion Naira debt burden, six fresh, two trillion Naira loans. Uh, PDP economic kick as party urges National Assembly to probe alleged looting of loans. Uh, the second is about 85% of matured loans are refinanced, economists suggest. You can't take more when 80% of revenue goes into debt. And Lagos to borrow 25 billion Naira as Shamulu signs green bond market agreement. Now, we're seeing um, the opposition party saying, uh, look, they are, kicking, they are kicking against it, right? Because they, they're saying probe the alleged looting of loans. I, I think there should be a normal system, right? When you get money, there should be, you know, regulations. There should be policies that will checkmate the spending of money. Do you think uh, we, this has been, you know, active? Because be before now, we have the ICPC, we have EFC, we have different communities, we have different organizations that should be in charge of doing all of this. But do you think it has been active before now? Well, I would say it is not because even the, the opposition party, you know, kick, we, we know what happened during, you know, the time, you know, they were in power. So, like I said, uh, everything still falls and rises on leadership. So, if we say something and we really mean it, that, okay, we are doing this thing and... Uh, uh, all Nigerians are seeing that truly, you know, our leaders are doing this. And there, there's not going to be concern. So it's just like, okay, uh, the, the, the opposition are saying, okay, you should do this. When they were in power, we all know what happened. We, know, we, know, we all, you know, we all can see what transpired during the administration. So I think uh, it is a norm, you know, in our, uh, in Nigerian system. So and until we remove that, you know, mindset and norm out of it, I'm not sure we are going to get anywhere. So, if this can be done, the way it should be done. President Muhammad Bari uh, is known as a man of integrity. And uh, despite that, we all know what is going on in the administration. So, mm. but, you know, government just needs to intensify, you know, fight against corruption and uh, nepotism, whatever that can hurt development. So, it is a good, you know, uh, it's a good uh, uh, position mm. if government can, you know, stick to it and implement whatever that needs to be done. All right. Um, other, we have other writers and stories on the Guardian newspaper. Uh, from the very top, UAE tags six Nigerians, others as Boko Haram terrorism financiers. That can be found on page three. A Twitter reaches out, commits to restoration plan in Nigeria. Well, that can be found on page four. Then side by side, bandits kill soldier, kidnap Kaduna Catholic priest. Zampara Emia, that can be found in page five. External military onslaught on bandits to not central uh, gov Benue State Governor Autumn tells federal government, that can be found in page five as well. Okagbari loses appeal, begins four year ban over banned drugs, that can be found on page 30. Uh, just uh, underneath that, the banner headline there sit at home, gunmen kill Anglican priest, said vehicles ablaze as IPOP dissociates group from violence. A couple of writers underneath that one as well. Let's go over to the nigerian news direct from beginning from the very top uba's half year profit grows by 33 percent to 76.2 billion naira and then our uh, nine well is saying our director abdul rahman ado not on uae terror financial list uh so talking about the borrowing five trillion naira amcon debt igp direct all aig cps to support recovery drive the barrier headline there is economic growth Buhari others banks to finance smes renewable energy and others. We have a couple of other stories right there, uh, but let's go over to the punch news people from where we started from. Are uh, we seeing from the very top there looming strike? Hold federal government responsible as to tell parents. Um, what is your take on all of this uh, this looming strike and you know the back and forth as to and the government? Just lastly, before we go, yeah. Well, uh, I think uh, uh, it, it's still between the the union and the government. Mm. But, you know, over time we have seen uh, the, the position of government and the way government are really treating these people. Mm. So, uh, you know, when you have a government, uh, according to former president of uh, uh, South Africa, Nelson Mandela, he says uh, education is the most potent power to change the world. Mm. And that no matter developments you want to drive, you want to initiate in every nation in this age, you cannot do it without quality education mm. and that can never be achieved except uh, education sector is properly funded and we know the percentage that you know uh, our budget is taken you know annually in nigeria so that tells you that something is really really wrong with our education system so 
I just we just need to you know tell government we need, we need to appeal to government to listen to these people to treat them the way they they should be treated mm. and uh, of course if they are happy doing their job I don't think that there's going to be any uh, reason for them going on strike you know all of the time so government should just listen to them and do the need so that everybody can be at peace and our youth you know will not be roaming about the streets. All right, thank you again very much for joining us on it's the show. A player. Thank you so much for staying tuned to Nigeria now. Don't forget you can be a part of this the, the show. You know, just drop your comments, concerns, and contributions on our social media platforms and stay updated on happenings across Nigeria and of course across Africa. That is at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And our website www.tostvnetwork.com. Thank you again for joining us. I am Merciful Ajinimo. See you tomorrow. Thank you.